What's going on everybody, Bluecore here, and today welcome to my second part Sonic Robo Blast 2 Wad Tutorial. Today, I'm going to teach you how to set up your Wad Viewer so you'll be able to create custom Wads and create and save your first Wad. So the first thing we need to do is download Visual Studio 2013 and I'm going to walk you through the steps on how to download this. So when you first start out, you are going to be starting out at this page and all of these links will be in the description for easy use. This will take you literally 5 seconds to do. You'll click on that button and here's the thing where you'll need to see. If you have a 16-bit computer, you use this. If you have a 32-bit computer, you use this. This one does not matter to us at right now. I have a 16-bit computer, so that's the one I am going to be downloading. This download takes a few seconds, but in all honesty, it shouldn't take that long. I will speed it up if it does take too long, and uh, I will see you then. So guys, that's pretty much it. We have downloaded version uh, 2013, and that's all you'll need for sleep. Now, time for the actual program. That version, even though if you thought you already had it, just downloading it to make sure is a very smart idea. Because I thought I already had it, and it said I didn't. So, now we're going to go ahead and download Slave. This is super easy and should only take a few seconds. If you want the desktop, you can have it, but I kind of like to keep my desktop clean, so I usually do not check that button. See, and it blasted through. We're going to go ahead and launch Slade. This is how it looks like. I know it may be a little confusing at first, but before we do anything, you're going to want to go to Edit and Preferences. And then once you go to Editing, you're going to see this force uppercase entry name in wad arches. That's going to be checked for you most likely. Make sure it's unchecked. Click apply and OK and that should be good. Now we're going to click this A button with a folder and that's going to create ourselves a new wad. Here is when we're going to be taking the S skin from last time. Make sure if you haven't watched that video, you go ahead and reiterate what we did. And here we go. Everything that we made from last time is in here. Now the only thing you have to do is save the wad. And I'm going to be calling this the Blue Core Wad. Because this is me. And that's pretty much it. There you go. Blue Core Wad. Of course you can't run this in SRB2 yet, because we haven't done everything else that we need to do, but that's just, just where we're going to start off. Make sure you tune into next episode, where I'm going to teach you more how to use this and how to do awesome stuff. But until next time, stay awesome!